Mother Earth Home to over 8 billion human beings and many more flora and fauna. However, due to years of overuse of chemicals, the soil today is losing its prosperity. This will have severe adverse effects on life on our planet. So what's the need of the earth? Regenerative agriculture. This is the only way to save our soil and our lives. In this episode of Masterclass, Mr. Raj Shikhar Reddy, an expert in regenerative agriculture, speaks about its importance and impact. Regenerative agriculture is a conservative and rehabilitative approach to farming. It uses natural resources rather than deleting or depleting. Why is the regenerative agriculture important? Soil supports 95% of all global food production. By 2050, the existing fertile soil will have to feed an estimated 9.8 billion people. Soil is vital. It filters water and acts as one of our most cost-effective reservoirs for sequestering carbon. It is important to adopt risk-free soil health management systems and implement a comprehensive approach to address the needs of our farmers. The urgent need to improve soil health is the need of the hour. It is estimated that 95% of our food is directly or indirectly produced on our soils. Soil is dynamic natural body made out of 45% of minerals, 25% air and 25% water and 5% of organic matter which is health and wealth of the soil. Currently. Indian soils are lacking in organic matter around 0.5% to 1% which is very less. Regenerative agriculture plays a vital role to bring the soil back to the origin stage. Soils supply the essential nutrients, water, oxygen and root support that our fruit producing plants need to grow and flourish. They also serve as buffer to protect delicate plant roots from drastic fluctuations in temperature. Now, let's understand the principles of regenerative agriculture. Principles of regenerative agriculture. First one is reducing soil disturbance. Tillage breaks up soil aggregation and fungal communities while adding excess oxygen to the soil for increased respiration and carbon dioxide emission. Least amount of mechanical disturbance ensures to improve the structure and microbial activity of the soil. Second principle is covering the soil. A layer of green crops can protect the soil surface from harmful sun rays, frost and erosion. It will enhance the soil's water retention capacity, thus accelerating a better nutrient cycle. Third principle is ensuring leaf roots in the soil all around the year. Ensuring leaf roots in the soil for the maximum time of the year provides adequate soil armor. This photosynthesizing plant roots will produce nutrition for the symbionts at the soil base. In turn, these organisms will ensure fertilizing services for current and future crops. Fourth principle is practicing crop diversity. Farming a diverse range of crops can ensure a balance of soil nutrients as different plants mineralize specific nutrients, which provides a balanced diet for the soil. Crop diversity includes crop rotation to maintain soil health and reduce soil bone pest and diseases, trap cropping to attract insect pest from the main crop, border cropping to reduce the pest infestation, multi cropping to get sustainable income and reduction in risk of crop failure. Fifth principle is integrate livestock. Integration of livestock and poultry plays an important role in regenerative agriculture. Cattle waste can be used in preparation of natural inputs like Bijamruta, Jivamruta and other nutrients. Crop waste can be used as feed for cattle. Poultry can improve the farmer's income. See, one of the principles of regenerative agriculture is to integrate livestock into uh, cultivation practices. The primary reason is, um, one, the cow, the cow dung and uh, uh, whatever uh, the residues that come out of uh, the cattle or a sheep or a goat or a hen is, is becomes the manure for the crops. 
So that way, um, you know, you are not adding you, your fertilizer requirements are low, and uh, you are adding back, uh, you know, to the soil by integrating livestock, and it also delivers additional revenue for the farmer in terms of milk, milk yield, or uh, you know, if he is rearing a goat, then you know, goats are sold for uh, uh, you know uh, to the other ones. So that way, it's it's good. Benefits of regenerative agriculture. There are two types of benefits. One is economical benefits. Second one is environmental benefits. Economical benefits. Cost of cultivation. By preparing on-farm inputs using available resources, farmers can reduce the cost of cultivation by 10 to 30 percent. Yield. Under regenerative agriculture practices, few major vegetables yielded up to 10 percent than conventional farming, for example, tomato and pumpkin. Quality of the produce. The produce cultivated under regenerative agriculture is having higher nutritional value than conventional farming produce. Example, nitrate level in tomato is around 40% compared to conventional is around 90%. Net income. Reduction in cost of cultivation, improvement in yield and quality of the produce leads to increase the farmer's net income to the extended level. This is basically also to show that a small and marginal farm can be also economically profitable. And we can also show that here some of the agricultural technologies adopted which can be you know, uh, shown to the farmers who are visiting so that they can also practice these new agricultural technologies. And as well as from the uh, synthetic or uh, chemical based uh, farming to change it into natural or organic farming. Environmental Benefits Topsoil Regeneration 1 teaspoon of healthy soil contains 100 million to 1 billion individual bacteria. Soil organic matter has increased from 0.7% to 1.5% within a year under regenerative agriculture practices. Improving Water Availability Healthy soil has amazing water retention capacity. Every 1% increase in organic matter results in as much as 25,000 gallons of available soil water per acre. Increasing Biodiversity Earthworm populations consume 2 tons of dry matter per acre per year parsley digesting and mixing it with soil. Carbon sequestration Carbon sequestration is the process of capturing and storing atmospheric carbon dioxide. It is one method of reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere with the goal of reducing global climate change. Soil organic carbon has increased from 0.5% to 0.8% within one year under regenerative agriculture practices. Soil fertility is increased in regenerative system biologically through application of cover crops, crop rotations, compost and animal manures which restore the plant soil microbiome to promote liberation, transfer and cyclic of essential soil nutrients. Soil organic matter is the primary sink of nutrients necessary for plant growth such as nitrogen, phosphorus, zinc, sulfur and molybdenum. Cropping pattern and crop rotation uh, plays vital role in regenerative agriculture. Cropping pattern refers to the proportion of land under cultivation of different crops at different point of time. This indicates the time and arrangement of crops in a particular land area. Any change in cropping pattern would cause change in the proportion of land under different crops, change in space, sequence and time of crops. The cropping patterns differs from reason to reason it depends on land, topography, slope, temperature, amount of reliability of rainfall, soils and availability of water for irrigation. Importance of cropping pattern Increase in soil fertility, increase in crop yield, increase in soil nutrients, reduction in soil erosion, improvement in the soil structure, diversification and reduction in the cost of production. See, crop diversity is good for the farmer in multiple ways. One is not putting all his eggs into a single basket. So, you know, if one crop fails, he still has the other crop to like, you know, uh, depend on and uh, get his revenue back. Uh, second thing is, the nutrition requirements of each crop is different. So, uh, what it takes from the soil is different. So, that way, 
uh, if you do like you know one uh, half of his land half of the farmer's land in a, in a particular crop and then do crop rotation there uh, then the soil nutrient requirements are like little less compared to like if you do a single crop uh, so soil health gets restored in that way um, then the third thing is the pest that actually uh, attacks right uh, because of the trap crops and uh, the multiple crops that are there in the field um, not every crop and every pest is attacked at the same time. Uh, in, every crop is attacked at the same time. Planning and layout plays an important role in regenerative agriculture. In a given land, 20% needs to allocate for perennial fruit crops, 80% for seasonal crops, across boundaries agroforestry timber crops, and 20 by 30 feet is for herb garden, which farmers can use in preparation of natural home remedies for small health issues. Farmers can dig channels across boundaries to harvest excess runoff water and to prevent the soil erosion. Here we received few questions from internal audience. What type of natural inputs can be used in regenerative agriculture? At pre sowing stage, farmyard manure, Vermi compost and neem cake, which is the source of Aja directin to prevent pest infestation in the plant, can be used. Bijamruta is a treatment given for seeds and seedlings to prevent soil bone and seed bone diseases. Jivamrutam as fermented microbial culture, fish amino acids, which promotes photosynthesis rate in the plant, which improves vegetative growth of the plant, sour buttermilk, which prevents flower drop, leaf based micronutrients, improves the quality of the yield. 10 leaf pesticide, neem seed kernel extract, and 3G solutions can be sprayed as preventives to avoid infestation rather than controlling. The majority of sucking pest lay eggs on no moon day, so farmers can spray immediately to prevent infestation at the egg stage itself. It's nearly time for us to realize the importance of our soil. Soil is the most important component to sustain life. Practicing regenerative agriculture will guarantee a better future for us. It is you who will decide the future of the generations to come by. Would you leave behind deserted unfertile empty lands or green fertile soil for them? Think.